From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Lauren Mayhew has been singing and acting since the age of 10. As an accomplished entertainer, Lauren has starred in shows such as CSI, Law and & Order, and Dexter, in addition to performing hosting duties for WWE's SmackDown. Lauren describes herself as super sporty, focusing on activities such as MMA, dance classes, rock climbing, and tennis. Look for Lauren in the new Hulu original series Trolls, Trollstopia, premiering November 19, 2020. Check out laurenmayhew.com to learn more and follow Lauren on Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to name a few. Lauren, thanks so much for speaking with us today. So this, is, this might be a futile question. Um, you've been in the entertainment business in some form or another since you were 10. You know, um, can you give us a quick intro on, on how you got to where you are today? Sure. Um, so I actually was born and raised in Florida, which is currently where I am right now. Um, I've been living in New York for the last two years, but I decided to escape some of the winter months and uh, come here and be in the sunshine, which has been awesome. Um, so I started off acting and singing here, um, actually doing a bunch of Nickelodeon and WB shows that shot in Orlando. Um, and then I ended up booking my first really big role. It was a series regular on a soap opera called Guiding Light. And I basically traveled back and forth from Tampa to New York with my mom um, a bunch of times every month, which was crazy. So it really was like a effort from not just myself, but from my whole family, um, being that I started entertainment so young. Um, and then I ended up uh, leaving the soap opera because I got signed to Epic Sony and I was in a girl band. And we opened up for Britney and Sync, Destiny's Child, 90 Degrees. We got to perform and do the Super Bowl with Aerosmith, which was probably one of the coolest things I have ever done. And um, yeah, it just kind of expanded from there. Um, when I went to college, I only applied to schools in either in New York or in LA because I finally wanted to be in a state and in a city where I can actually, you know, instead of flying somewhere all the time, actually be where I needed to be to work. Um, so it really started to take off when I moved to LA and went to UCLA, um, which was a dream school to get into. And from that point, I kind of utilized the growth that I had gotten from my music and from the acting and hosting and things like that to launch some of the influencer stuff that I do and the content creation. Um, so I took advantage of the platform that I had and um, started collaborating with brands. That's a perfect lead into my next question. At, at what point, what was your aha moment when you said, yeah, I'm an influencer? Man, I'm trying to think if there was like one specific moment where that happened. I mean, I remember as like an actor, I started getting asked to come to all of these, but they're, they're called gifting suites um, for people who aren't like familiar with them. It's basically uh, right before any big award show, uh, a lot of times they'll do these big gifting suites where it's a ton of different brands that come together all in one place and you get invited as an actor with the hopes that, they, you know, they give you all this free stuff and they hope that you'll post about it. They hope that you'll say something about it, that you, you know, that you'll, since you're a trendsetter, that your fans will enjoy it and that you'll spread the word, et cetera. So I guess that was my first kind of foray. I was like, wow, people are gonna give me free stuff? This is so cool. Um, but as an actor, they don't necessarily require you to post. They're just like hoping that you will. Then from that, I started thinking like, man, like maybe I could do really cool branded content. Like it, it, I guess the idea came first with me thinking about things that I wanted to make that I didn't have the funds to do on my own. So for example, like a music video for a new single that I had, I was like, man, I have this amazing idea, but how do I do it? Oh, well, I just met all of these brands that were willing to give free stuff. And like, for basically just hoping that I would do something in return. What if I promised them that I would do A through Z and then would they pay me? And if so, what would that look like? And so um, I just started reaching out to brands. I think that's one thing that a lot of influencers don't do enough of is a brand wants to know that you're a fan. They want to know that you really relate to them and that it that it's something that would be natural and integral to your platform so that the people who are watching you would also feel likely and inclined to like it as well. So I found that I've had really, really great results when I have reached out personally to brands and pitched them on a very specific idea that's unique to them and their brand. Very cool, very cool. And, and so, um, your talents seemingly span the entire entertainment spectrum <laughs> and beyond, and you go into physical fitness stuff as well. So, I, I and you're also active on Intellifluence. H how do you structure your average day so you can get everything done? Like, how do you even have time to speak with us? I'm surprised when I was doing prep, like everything you're doing. 
I try to coordinate the things so that I'm doing uh, like um, like minded things at the same time. So like, for example, today I'm working with an awesome um, winery that's based out of Lodi, California. Um, I don't think I can say the F word on things, but they're called good effing wines. <laughs> and um, but that's literally the name of like their label. And it's actually really, really phenomenal wine. But I had to do I have to do photos for them today. So it kind of works out like planning, you know, this shoot with you guys where I wanted to be, you know, like looking cute and uh you know the photo shoot with them live streams that i have to do later on today i kind of try to group those things together so that um it's more time efficient um no one day of mine really looks the same uh but it really does help to be super super organized for me the second that i get something locked in it must go in my calendar i like highlight underline star um there is a lot of things to remember and it it really is never the same so i think that for any influencer um finding a workflow that works for you and finding an organizational um, system that works for you is so, so important. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, and, and, and your content's great quality. Are you, um, do you produce it all on your own? Do you have a small team? How, how does that look? So oh, um, it really kind of depends. I mean, on certain, uh, for certain posts, if I get, you know, a certain amount of budget, I'm able to maybe like hire a photographer. Like I actually own a lot of equipment. Like I have DSLR cameras, I have ring lights, I have LED lights, I have all of my DJ equipment, I have speakers, I have, a lot of stuff and I've also become very self-sufficient. I think that the best thing that any influencer can do is to teach themselves at least the bare bones of um, video editing. Like I've taught myself how to edit on Final Cut Pro. I know how to do basic HTML like encoding. It's funny, like I feel like people look at influencers and they're like, oh, they just pose for pictures. But really, I know how to do a lot of technical stuff. Like if you had asked young Lauren, if I would have known how to do all the things that I knew how to do now, I'd be like, what? Like. It's, it's amazing how, the, how many things that you can teach yourself just by Googling it and learning on YouTube. So I highly recommend that. It's really, really helpful. Yeah, no, I, after doing about 120 of these uh, these interviews, I know the full story. It's it's that, that that picture, you know, that looks like it's just a picture, yeah. you know, that might have taken two hours, that might have taken, yeah. Yep. Unreal. And then, so what, what have been some of your favorite brand collaborations to date? I know this is another yeah. tough one because of the sheer number that you've done, but are there any a couple yeah. memorable ones? There are some that stick out. There are some brands that really I love working with brands that are ongoing, that are continuous, because that's always really nice when you get to not only a really get to know the people who are working with the brand, but know the in and outs of the brand and like what they're about and like their whole message. Um, but then also, I really feel like it's good for fans because then they really start to associate you with that brand and it starts to feel less like a promotion and more of a part of my life, you know, which I think is important. I think that's kind of the purpose behind social media marketing and influencing anyway, is that it's not supposed to be you pushing a product down someone's throat. It's trying to show someone, this is what I use. This is what I love. This is what I do. You should check it out sort of thing. So um, some of the brands that have done that are, um, I worked for a little over a year with Fairway Grocery Stores um, in New York. And that was an amazing, amazing, amazing activation. I basically got free groceries for over a year, it was phenomenal. And you know, so many influencers, they reach out to the same things. Like they want makeup, they want swimwear, they want this. Like there are so many other things out there that you use on a daily basis that everyone needs. Like everyone needs to eat, everyone needs to buy groceries, everyone needs to buy gas, like there's certain things. And so I've started to reach out to brands like that, that um, don't necessarily get as much love on Instagram because you know maybe it's not as sexy as a swimwear line or something like that, but um, that are really really phenomenal brands and really like really high end and have great um, have great products and things like that. So that was one of my favorites. Another one, being a musician, it ties in really nicely to me. Um, it's a company called Ultimate Ears, and uh, they make uh, pro in ear monitors, but they also do really amazing Bluetooth speakers that all connect to each other. And working with them has just been awesome because I mean they sponsored a. DJ tour for me. Um, they made me the pro in-ear monitors like for free. And then they also just sponsored my most recent music video. So it's really been great since they trust me so much and we have such a great relationship. I've been able to go back to them again and again and again. And it's become easier. Like I'll just ask them for something, pitch them and they're like, okay, you know? So like, that's really great to have that relationship on both sides where the trust is there, where they know that if I say I'm gonna do something that I'm not only gonna deliver, but probably over deliver, you know? Yeah, I love it. I love it. And, and um, on the flip side of that, I, I always love this question. Now, you kind of protect yourself because you do a lot of outreach. So, so you might fend a lot of this off. But what what's the weirdest pitch you've received from a brand where they obviously didn't do their due diligence? And you're like, what? Um, 
Man, you know, I have to say, I haven't like, I've definitely heard stories like this from like influencer friends where they're like, they clearly haven't even watched my channel. Um, I haven't really had that happen to me. I feel like the brands who've reached out or a lot of times, I guess, uh, when I'm getting people coming to me, it's more so through either like a publicist or an influencer agency or um, like a PR company or something like that. And so they know me very intimately and very well because they've worked with me a lot. So I feel like when they bring me a brand, it's a brand that like makes sense for me. I actually haven't had that happen. Um, you know, I mean, whatever, I, you know, I would just laugh at it. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think everybody is trying to, um, you know, connect on, on either side, on the brand side and on the influencer side, we're all just trying to connect and make it happen. Um, you know, obviously that can rub some influencers the wrong way because, you know, they feel like, man, you didn't even take the time to actually even look at it. How do you even know that you like my content? And it goes vice versa too. So influencers, like if you don't like that happening to you, make sure that when you reach out to a brand that you make sure that the content is specific to them and that you actually understand what they're trying to do because, you know, there's two sides of the coin. So um, I try to always be conscientious of that. I always... I try to make it easier for myself sometimes by like, I will have like templates or certain things that I'm like, okay, this is what I offer. This is my pricing. This is, these are these things, but I always proofread, go over and I try to make, um, at least the idea and the concept very specific or as specific as I can to whatever brand I'm reaching out to. So I think that's good to remember on both sides. Definitely. Definitely. And we're wrapping up a crazy year. Um, so what's on tap for 2021 as it pertains to your personal brand, influencer marketing, yeah, so I actually have something really big happening this coming Thursday. Um, so it, like I was saying, I became you know an influencer and started doing social media uh, content creation because of my acting and my music and things like that. And I am coming out as a series regular in a new Hulu show this Thursday. Um, it's uh, created by DreamWorks, it's called Trollstopia. And I'm the main character's singing voice and speaking voice. So that's really, really cool. I'm super pumped. Um, and I've been doing a ton of press here in Florida, like around that, like leading up to it and um, nationwide press and stuff like that too. But I'm just so pumped because it's such a dream job. Um, so that's probably the closest thing that's coming up that I'm most excited about. Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the influencers link, and then click on the join for free button to sign up. You'll get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. Earn cash quickly by referring your friends and family. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date. That's it for now. We hope to see you soon.